The member for Warringah. Thank you. To the Prime Minister, in Australia, trust in government and politicians is at an all-time low. With a federal election now looming, voters will yet again be bombarded with fake news, misleading claims and outright lies. Will you prohibit the misleading member for Warringah and resume her seat. Members on my right will cease interjecting. The member for Warringah will begin her question again. Prime Minister. In Australia, trust in government and politicians is at an all-time low. With a federal election now looming, voters will yet again be bombarded with fake news, misleading claims and outright lies. Will you prohibit misleading and deceptive political advertising by supporting the electoral legislation amendment Stop the Lies bill before the next election? The Prime Minister has Speaker, the and I'll ask the Special Minister of State to add further my answer, but I, I, I note uh, the member's uh, preamble to the question uh, about misleading, Mr Speaker, and, and deceptive information that comes forward in campaigns. And, Mr Speaker, I think she's just given us a preview of the Labor Party campaign at the next election, Mr Speaker, because they have form. They have form, Mr Speaker. We may remember the many scare misrepresentations and untruths, Mr Speaker. We remember the calls to pensioners in the, in the night, Mr Speaker, seeking to frighten people in the middle of the election campaign. We remember all of that. We know they're doing it again, Mr Speaker, out there trying to frighten pensioners and, and do that on a, on a daily basis, trying to operate underneath the radar. It's very sneaky, Mr Speaker. Very sneaky from Labor. That's what we get used to. And we know, Mr Speaker, when the Leader of the Opposition can't make the points himself, he gets other Premiers to make them for him, Mr Speaker. That's what he does. That's what he the does. Prime Minister, get used to that. Prime Minister, resume his seat. The member for Warringah has the call. The Prime Minister, resume his seat. Relevance, M Mr Speaker. The member for Warringah has the call. Relevance, Mr Speaker. I didn't ask about alternate policies. I asked whether he would support prohibiting misleading and deceptive advertising. That, that, that's right. The question had a preamble with a number of statements about fake news and misleading claims. And As I've said, preambles can be responded to. If you wanted a specific answer to whether uh, the government would support a bill, it would have been better just to simply ask that and nothing else. So I'm listening to the Prime Minister. But I am going to say that he's been able to compare and contrast because of that. But the question was not about the Australian Labor Party. Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I'm very happy for the Special Minister of State to add further that answer. But uh, the preview that the member has offered in her question, Mr Speaker, of misrepresentations and deceit, um, that is, of course, a risk. And it comes from the Labor Party, Mr Speaker, would do it on every single election. The Special Minister of State. Uh, thank you, Mr uh, Speaker, and I thank the member for her question. The government does not support the AEC playing a role in relation to political advertisements. Uh, the AEC has committed to a uh, stop and consider awareness campaign, which in the next election uh, will be further implemented as it has been implemented in the uh, previous by-elections in Ida Monero and in Groom. Federal elections are a contest of ideas, Mr Speaker. In the 2016 Joint Standing Committee report into the 2016 election considered these provisions. They recommended that there be further amendments made to the authorisation provisions, and that has occurred, and this government has delivered upon them. So voters can clearly identify who is the source of the political information that they are receiving in electoral context. Mr Speaker, um, those opposite um, uh, and the member for Oringa um, want to pursue uh, a piece of legislation that will politically involve the Australian Electoral Commission in being an arbiter in relation to electoral advertising. That is an inappropriate role for the Australian Electoral Commission, and this government does not support that. 